holiday, you may want to head over to Epiphany Glass Studios. They are hosting a special shopping event just in time for Christmas. Jen and Fran Wilson has been live in Pontiac all morning. Jen, what do you have for us this time? Well, this is so cool because not only do you get to step inside Epiphany Studios and see beautiful works of art like the art you see around me, but you also get to see how it's made. So this blue piece, for example, it's big, it's really cool. It's made up of a lot of little pieces like this right here. And those pieces are what uh, they're in the process of creating right now. So we can see we're actually in the studio so we can pan over and watch as those pieces are brought to life. So a step-by-step -step process creating this work of art and the piece right now is a commissioned piece, I know, but it has a similar type of structure, similar type of uh, pieces to it. This is a multi-step process. It is, yeah. So um, I'm going to make a series of these pieces and then when I'm finished with them, I can... Oops. Whoops. All right, I'm going to stay away from the hot poker. I'm going to avoid the hot poker. <laughs> I'll assemble them together to make the final sculpture. So this is a piece that I need to get finished. Um, it's a custom piece for a client before the holidays. So burning the midnight oil here at the last minute, getting everything finished. Absolutely. You have a, a wide variety of items from coasters to sets of glasses to bowls to pieces of art. And then you also can be commissioned. So if you have a special request of something that you don't see on her website or you don't see in her studio or at their pop-up shop in Detroit, you can actually ask her for what you'd like to be made and she can create something that is just for you. Otherwise, there is a lot to choose from, from ornaments, and they have a really cool experience that if you come to the studio today here in Pontiac, you can learn and actually have an opportunity to make some pieces all on your own. And I loved one of the things you talked about was just kind of using gravity as yeah. a partner. So when I stopped turning and the piece is pretty hot, you can see how it just fell there pretty quickly. So I'm going to use this tool to sculpt it back up into the shape that I want it to be for the final piece. And this is a really neat opportunity. You don't usually get to see something come to life from just a lump of molten glass. So what are the reactions when you have people here at your studio watching you work? Everybody is amazed. You know, people always wonder, oh, how do you make that? And then they see it and they go, oh my gosh, I had no idea from the start that that's what it was going to look like at the finish. But you know, you have this image in your mind of what it's going to look like, that finished product, and then you just kind of hope the, the glass cooperates. Yeah. Yep. Some days it goes really well. Some days not so well. So, yeah, it's yeah. a partnership. All right, well, right here in Pontiac, where can people find you today? Um, so we are located on uh, Orchard Lake Road, just east of Telegraph. I had to think about that for a yeah. second. <laughs> and we'll be here today until 4, and we'll be offering the hands-on experience with people if they want to try making an icicle ornament themselves. All right, wonderful. And, again, they do have a pop-up shop in Detroit. You can see those hours on our website as well as on your screen. Really cool. We're going to go back to the icicle making process, that hands-on experience. In our next half an hour, we've got some special guests here in studio, so you'll get to live vicariously through them until you get down to the studio yourself. Back to you.